once upon a time in a faraway land. A young prince lived in a shining castle. Although he had everything his heart desired, the prince was spoiled, selfish, and unkind. But then, one winter's night, an old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose in return for shelter from the bitter cold. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away. But she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty is found within. And when he dismissed her again, the old woman woke uglings melted away to reveal a beautiful enchantress. The prince tried to apologize, but it was too late, for she had seen that there was no love in his heart. As punishment, she transformed him into a hideous beast and placed a powerful spell on the castle and all who lived there. Ashamed of his monstrous form, the beast concealed himself inside his castle with a magic mirror as his only window to the outside world. The rose she had offered was truly an enchanted rose, which would bloom for many years. If he could learn to love another and earn their love in return by the time the last petal fell, then the spell would be broken. If not, he would be doomed to remain a beast for all time. As the years passed, he fell into despair and lost all hope. For who could ever learn to love a beast? Little town, it's a quiet village. Bonjour. There goes the baker with his tray like always The same old bread and rolls to sell Every morning just the same Since the morning that we came To the small provincial town Good morning, Belle Good morning, Monsieur Where are you off to? The bookshop actually is the most wonderful story About a big stock and an ogre and That's nice, Marie, the baguettes, hurry up Look, there she goes, that girl is strange Cause her head's up on some cloud. Not lying, she's a funny girl, that belle. Bonjour. Good day. How is your family? Bonjour. Good day. How is your sister? I need six hands. That's too expensive. There must be more than this provincial Ah, oh, Belle. Good morning. I've come to return the book I borrowed. Finished already? Oh, I couldn't put it down. Have you got anything new? Not since yesterday. That's all right. I'll borrow this one. That one? But well, you read it twice. Well, it's my favorite. Far off places, daring sword fights, magic spells, a prince in disguise. Get all that much. It's yours. But sir. I insist. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Look, there she goes. That girl is so peculiar. I wonder if she's feeling well. She's dressed up all. We're different from the rest of us. She's
Mr. Shark Gaston, you're the greatest hunter in the whole world! I know! No piece of life sounds like I chance you, and no girl for that matter! It's truly true, and I've got my sights set on that one! The Venus' daughter? She's the one! The lucky girl I'm going to marry! But, but, but she? The most beautiful girl in town! I know, but... That makes her the best! And don't I deserve the best? Well, of course you do! Right from the moment when I met her, saw her, I said she's gorgeous and I fell. Here in town there's only she who's beautiful as me, so I'm making plans to woo and marry Belle. Hello, Bill. Bonjour, Gaston. Gaston, may I have my book, please? How can you read this? There's no pictures. Well, some people use their imagination. Bill, it's about time you got your head out of these books and paid attention to more important things. Like, like you? Exactly. The whole town's talking about it. So, uh, uh, so she will start realizing and thinking. Gaston, you're possibly from even. Why, thank you, Bob. What do you say, me or you go to the tavern and take a look at my trophies? What do you say, we don't? Come on, Bob. I know what you feel about me. Well, you can't even imagine. Gaston, I really need to get inside of my father. That crazy old fool, he needs all the help he can get. Don't talk about my father that way. Yeah, don't talk about her father that way. Papa? What genius? What's a genius? Some genius. Now, Lifu, I need you to go into the woods and get me the biggest, most healthiest deer you can find. Not the woods, anything but the Just woods. Find me Not that I hate the woods. Wedding feast. I'm fine, but I can't for the life of me figure out why that just happened. If this is a stubbornness piece of... Papa! Ow. I'm about ready to give up on this hunk of junk. Oh, you always say that. I mean it this time. I'll never get this bone-headed contraption to work. Yes, you will. And you'll win first prize at the fair tomorrow. I know it. Hmm, you really think so? You know I do. I always have. All right, then. We'd better get cracking and fix this machine. Now let me see where I put that dog match with Papa? So tell me, Belle, how was your day in town today? Well, I got a new book. You do love those books. Well, they take me away to wonderful places where there's adventures and mystery and romance and happy endings. Papa? Yes? If I ask you something, will you answer me honestly? Don't I always? Do you think I'm um, odd? 
my daughter. Odd. Now where would you like? Now where would you get a thing like that from? Well, it's just that people talk. Well, they talk about me too. No, I'm not an odd nor you. No family ever seen her, except one uncle who maybe let that pass. And all you say and do, you couldn't make it plainer. You are your mother's daughter, therefore you are class. So I just accept them simply, not like them. They are the common herd, and you could take my word. You are unique, creme de la creme. No, no matter, matter what, what you do, do, I'm by your side. And, and if my point of view is somewhat misty-eyed, there's nothing clearer in my life than what I wish and feel for you. And that's a lot, no matter what. It's my intention, my invention Shows the world out there one day Just what we've got No matter what All right, Belle, let's test it out All right Okay, stand back Okay It works It works? It, it works! It does! I'm going first prize at the fair tomorrow I know it Maybe I will at that. Well, oh, I almost forgot. I made you the scarf for good luck. Wow. Thank you, Belle. All right, Belle, I'm off. Oh, well, goodbye, Papa. Bye, Belle. Take care. You too. First prize, prize is nearly mine, it's quite my best invention So, so simple yet complex, so massive yet so small This triumph of design will be my old age pension That is providing that I can't find the fair end at all I must have missed a sign I should have paid attention Drat! That's not a nightingale, and not a mating call! Wolves! Wolves.
help, help. Someone let me in. Let me in. Someone, I need help. Let me in. Help, help. Let me in, let me in. Let me in, help. Hello, help me in, let me in. Help, help. Hello? Hello? Well, now you have to let I told you not to let him in. Is anyone home? I'm not waiting for the rules. Maybe if you keep quiet, he'll go away. Is anyone here? Uh, uh, uh. Not one word, Lumiere. Not a single word. I don't mean to intrude, but I've lost my way in the woods. I need a place to stay for the night. Oh, hello, Coxworth. Have a heart. Once here, you're welcome here. I heard that. And I'll thank you to step out where I could see you. Hello. Ah! And goodbye. Wait, wait, wait. Your clock and you're talking? Astonishing, isn't it? And quite inexplicable. Goodbye. Coxworth, I'm surprised at you. Where's your manners? We've got to get him out to here before the master finds out. This is incredible. Really, sir, if you would just... Ow, ow, stop it. Stop it. Stop it, sir. Really, sir, do you mind? Well, I'm stumped. I've never seen a gadget like that before. I, sir, am not a gadget. I'm sorry, it's just... Uh, Bless you. Thank you. You are chilled to the bonbons here. Take warm yourself by the fire. No, Thank I you. forbid it. Lumiere, as the head of the household, I demand you to stop right there. <gasps> not the master, sir. Not the master, sir. I am not seeing this. I am not seeing this. Ooh la la. What have we here? Do my eyes deceive me? Naya, Naya. Or is this a man? A real man? No offense, Lumiere. Bonjour, monsieur. Mind if I stand here? Hello. That's it, this has gone far enough. I am in charge here and... Coming through. How would you like a nice cup of tea, sir? He'll warm you up in no time. Yes, please. No, no tea. He will stay here all night with no tea. There you are. Oh! I think I scared him, Mama. What's your name, little fella? Chip. Figures. Care for a blanket, Monsieur? Thank you. Babette? You're always trying to make me jealous, but it's not gonna work this time. Me? What about you? Lemire, listen to me. We've got to get him out of here. Do you have any idea what the master will do if he finds out that we let a stranger in? Master did not gonna find us. As I was saying, the master will find us sooner or later. Should we hide, Mama? No, no, remain calm. There is absolutely no reason to panic. Uh, Lumiere is right. There is absolutely no reason to panic. There's a stranger here? Master, let me explain. Who dared to let him in? Uh, master, may I have the opportunity to say, I was guessing from the start. Who I dared to disobey me? Oh dear. You have all betrayed me. Who are you? M -m Maurice? What are you doing in my castle? I lost my way in the woods. You've come to stare at the beast, haven't you? No, no, I wasn't. It's hideous, isn't it? No, no. I was merely looking for a place to stay. I'll give you a place to stay. Ah! Oh.
true, I don't believe it. Why, Why would you go do a thing like, like that? that? Oh, I can't bear it. I simply can't bear it. Oh, Gaston, say it isn't so. It is so. Girls, don't tell me like that's going to change a little feeling about me. Oh, no, never. And we'll still have our little rendezvous, won't we? Oh, yes. Yes. Always. Good. Now, run along. <laughs> oh, Belle. Belle. Gaston, what a pleasant surprise. I'm full of surprises for you, mademoiselle. A miniature portrait of you, you shouldn't have. Don't mention it. Don't mention it. Please. Oh, there's plenty I could know about your dreams, Gaston. Well, I know many of your dreams. You're right, imagine that. Imagine, picture this, a roasting hunting lodge. My little skill roasting on the fire. My, my little wife massage my feet while the little ones play with, with the dogs. They have six or seven. Dogs? No, strapping boys like me. What do you say? Is it yes or oh yes? It's just that I don't deserve you. Who does? Me? But thanks for asking. You know, Belle, always playing hard to get. She turned you down! For now. But she will be my wife and make no mistake about that. Well, Jeannie, if she turned him down, maybe I could still have a chance. That boorish, brainless. Have you seen Gaston? Oh, you just missed him. Wait, where did you get that scarf? Pretty nice, huh? This belongs to my father. Yeah, well, find his keepers. No, he's still out there somewhere. Sifu, you have to help me find him. Not on your life. Well, then, I'll find him myself. Hello? Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? Hello? It's a girl. Yes, of course, I can see it's a girl. It's, it's a, a girl. girl! Mademoiselle! Uh, 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 uh. Now, Lumiere, let me do all the talking. You who? Lumiere, as the head of the household, I'm supposed to do all the talking. Cherry! A word, just a word. That's all I'm asking for. You're not gonna believe what I saw. Not in a million thousand years. Not in a trillion million thousand years. Yes, dear. No, really, it's the greatest thing. It's the thing that everybody's been asking for. Yes, since, Chip. since, since, I don't know when. Yes, Chip. What There's a girl in the castle. Bless my soul. Wouldn't that be lovely? But there is, I saw her. Now, Chip, I'll not have you making up wild stories, getting everyone's hopes up for no reason. Mrs. Potts, Mrs. Potts, did you hear that? There's a girl in the castle. See, I told ya, and she's real pretty too. Well, I don't know about that.
This is the one, the girl we have been waiting for. She come to break the spell. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's not be hasty here. Isn't that wonderful? After all these years, oh, happy, happy day. Stop it, stop that. Hello? Hello? Is anyone here? Please. Oh, is that you? Papa? How'd you find me? Your hands are like ice. We have to get you out of here. Belle, you must leave this place at once. I won't leave you here. <sighs> Who's there? I know someone's there. Who are you? I am the master of this castle. Well, then, you're the one who's responsible for this. Release my father at once. I am the master of this castle. I do not take orders from anyone. Throw her out! Wait, please. Can't you see he's not well? Then he should not have trespassed here. But he's an old man. He could die. He came into my home uninvited, and now he'll suffer the consequences. Wait, there must be something I can do. There's nothing you can do. Take me instead. No! You would do that? You would take his place? If I did, would you let him go? Yes, but you must promise to stay here forever. No! Forever? Forever, or he dies in the dungeon. Well, then, take my word. Take him to the crossroads. No, wait! Papa! Oh uh, no, Bell! Bell! No, no, Bell! Master, you need to offer her a more comfortable room. Well, you didn't even let me say goodbye. What did you say? He's gone, and you didn't even let me say goodbye. I'll show you to your room. My room? But I thought... Do you want to stay in that dungeon? No. Then follow me. You! Follow me! Why? What's in the West? It's forbidden! You are never to set foot there! Do you understand? I said, do you understand? Yes. This is your home now. If you need anything, my servants will help you. And one more thing, you will join me for dinner. That is not a request! kind of you, but I'm not going to dinner. 
I don't think the master's gonna like this. Well, he may be your master, but he's not mine. Wait. I'm sorry, this is just all happening so fast. That was a very brave thing you did, my dear. I'm going to miss my papa so much. Cheer up, child. I know things may seem bleak right now, but you mustn't despair. We're here to see you through. she thinks she is? That girl has tangled with the wrong man. Darn right. No one says no to Gaston. Dismissed, rejected, publicly humiliated. It's more than I can bear. More water. What for? Nothing helps. I'm disgraced. Who, you? Never Gaston. You've got to pull yourself together. Gosh, it's disturbing to see you, Gaston. Looking so down in the dumps Every guy would love to be you, Gaston Even when taking your lumps There is no man in town as admired as you You're everyone's favorite guy Everyone's out and inspired by you And it's not very hard to see why No one sneak as Gaston. No one sneak as incredibly thick as Gaston. For there's no man in town that wasn't me. Perfect and blue that I got. You can ask any Tom or Rick or Stanley, and they'll tell you whose team they would prefer to be on. A specimen, yes, I'm intimidating. I the guys at Gaston. Give five praise, give twelve, give six. Gaston is the best, and the rest are all dreams. No one fights like Gaston, gushes lights like Gaston. In a wrestling match, nobody fights like Gaston. For this As you see, I've got biceps to spare. Not a bed of them scraggly or scrawny. That's right, and every last inch of me covered with hair. Yeah. No one hits like Gaston, matches with like Gaston. In a spitting match, nobody spits like Gaston. I'm especially good at expectorating. Ten, Ten points for Gaston. Gaston. Help! 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 Someone, Someone help me. me! Maurice? Please, I need I your help. help. He's got, He's got it. it. He's, He's got, got it locked, locked in a dungeon. dungeon. Well, uh, we must go, go at once. once. Not, Not a minute, minute to lose. lose. Whoa! Slow down, Maurice. Who's got Bell locked in a dungeon? A beast. A, beast. a horrible, monstrous beast. Is it a big beast? Huge. Huge! With spooky yellow eyes. Yes, yes, yes! With a long, ugly snout. Hit yes, the ugly. And, and shark cool fangs. fangs. Yes, 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 yes. Will, will you help me? Will you help me? All right, old man. We'll help you out. 
Oh, thank, thank you, you, thank you. you. All right, well, then. then. I'll, I'll go, go back go. there and get her out myself. Crazy old Maurice. He's always good for a laugh. <laughs> Crazy old Maurice. Crazy old Maurice. Dangerous pastime? I know, but that wacky old coot is both father, and his sanity's only so-so. Now the wheels in my head have been turning, since I looked at that loony old man. See, I promised myself I'd be married to Belle, and right now, I'm evolving a plan! If I? Yes? Then we? No, witchy? Yes! Now I get it! Let's, Let's go. go! No, no one blood like, like a stone! No! Shoots like a stone. Blast to prosecute harmless crack points like a stone. Yes, I'm endlessly widely resourceful. As down to the depth you descend. I won't even be mildly resourceful. Just as long as you get what you want in the end. Like a stone, like a stone. It's time for dinner. Where is she? she? She's not coming. She's not coming. What did you say? She's not coming. We'll see about that. Your lordship, your grace, your eminence. Let's not be hasty here. Stay where you are. Stand outside Lumiere. I thought I told you to come down to dinner. And I told you I'm not hungry. You're hungry if I say you are. Don't be ridiculous. You... I'm not hungry. You can't go around ordering people to be hungry. Besides, it's rude. I can. Oh, rude, is it? Well, then, let's see. If you don't come down to dinner, I will come and drag you by the hair. Master, it may be not the best way, way to win the girl's affection. But why is she being so difficult? Why are you being so difficult? Why are you being such a bully? Because I want you to come down to dinner. Well, so you admit you're being a bully. Deep breaths, Master, deep breaths. Ooh. I'll give her one last chance. Would you be so kind as to join me for dinner? Uh, Please? No, but thank you. Fine, then starve. Master, please. If she doesn't eat with me, she doesn't eat at all. What were we thinking now? We'll be never humans again. Oh dear. I know the master can be temperamental, but underneath all that romantic terror, he looks such a nice fellow. Why didn't you give him a chance? A chance? Why? Did he give my father a chance? Well, no. But once you get to know him. I don't want to get to know him. I don't want anything to do with him. I'm just fooling myself. She'll never see me as anything but a monster. No, what did they say? Shower her with compliments. Impress her with your wit. Act like a gentleman. Act like a gentleman. I like 
like her spunk. Well, if you ask me, she's just being stubborn. After all, he did say please. Oh, that may be the first time I've ever heard him use that word before. I believe you're right. You see, she's already starting to have good answers on him. Oh, there you are, dearie. Bonjour, mademoiselle. My name is Cogsworth, Captain of the Cogsworth, the girl, she's gone. I can't believe my eyes. Ancient tea, mademoiselle. <laughs> this is Lumiere. Is there anything we can do to make your stay a bit more comfortable? Anything? Well, anything at all? I am a little hungry. Uh, except that. Cogsworth. Well, you've heard what the master said. Oh, Pishtush, I'm not about to let this poor child go hungry. Ah, uh, fine. A glass of water, a crust of bread, and then... Cogsworth, I'm surprised at you. Where's your manners? She's not prisoner, she's our guest. <sighs> All right, dinner. But we have to keep it down. Otherwise, he'll be at our necks. Okay, but what dinner without a little music? Music? My cheer, mademoiselle, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you tonight. Now let us relax, let us pull up our chairs as the dining room proudly presents your dinner.
problem here. Dinner was wonderful. Good show, everyone. Good show. Well done. Well done. <gasps> Look at the time, everyone. Off to bed. Oh, I couldn't possibly go to bed now. It's my first time in an enchanted castle. Enchanted? Who said this castle is enchanted? It's you, isn't it? No, I figured it out for myself. Perhaps I'd like around a tour. Maybe you would like a tour? Oh, everything is so wonderful. If only he weren't here. Don't touch that. What are you doing here? But, but I... What? I told you not to come into the West Wing. Get out! No! You had no right to be here. No right! Don't touch me! No, I'm, I'm sorry. Promise or no promise, I won't stay here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You don't understand. I have so little left of me. So little left. There's not the slightest trace of anything that even hints at kindness. And from my tortured shape, no comfort, no escape. I see what deep within is utter. Hopeless as my dream dies, as the time flies, love a lost illusion. Helpless, unforgiven, cold and driven to this sad. Conclusion. No beauty could move me, no goodness improve me, no power on earth if I can't love. If I can't love her, then who?
Oh. Just hold still. It won't, if you hold still, it wouldn't hurt that much. If you hadn't run away, none of this would have happened. If you hadn't have pushed me, I wouldn't have run away. If you hadn't been to the West Wing, then I wouldn't have pushed you. You, you should learn to control your temper. Now, hold still. This might sting a little. Ow. Oh, by the way, thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. Well, that's more like it. I knew they could get along if they tried. So, the ice is broken at last? I have just the thing. How about we warm you two up with a nice bowl of soup? 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 Trust me. Something sweet and almost kind But he was mean and he was coarse and unrefined But now he's dear and so unsure I wonder why I didn't see it there before Come on, come along, dearie. Let's get you out of those white things. Well, that's good. That's good. Excellent. Well, maybe I should give you something. But what? Well, you know, there's the usual things. Flowers, chocolates, promises you don't intend to keep. Or no, no, no. It has to be something special. Something that sparks your interest. Something... What? Are you sure? Okay. Come on, Joe, what was it? Say something about the dress. Uh, it's white. A compliment. Oh, what a lovely dress you have, Ben. Thank you. Uh, ben, I have something to show you, but first you must close your eyes. Get the girl! Read it. 
No, you. No, no, you should read it. No, no, you should. Well, why? You never learned to read? Not in a long time. Well then, this is the perfect book to read again. Come along, sit by me. What's there, Mama? Shh, I'll tell you when you're older. Come along now. Let's give them some privacy. Mama? Yes, Chip? Will I ever get to be a boy again? I hope so. When will I know? If it's to be, it'll be very soon. Come along now. And then, King Arthur took out his slave and knew that no one could make me happy again. The end. What a beautiful story, Ben. You like it? I love it. Oh, I would also like you to ask you something. Sure. Well, I would like a second chance. So, um, would you come to dinner with me? Dinner? With you? Yes, of course. Thank you for doing it, Ben. Oh, it was wonderful. Uh, ben, I... Are you happy here? Well, everyone's so nice. Mrs. Potts, Lumiere. With me? Yes, but... 
I'm going to miss my papa so much. Wait here, I have something to show you. We'll show you anything you want to see. Oh, I would like to see my father. Papa? Papa, he's, he's, he's in danger. I should, I should do something. You should go to him. But, but I... You're not a prisoner here. You've, you haven't been one for a long time. Go to him. Well, I'll never forget you. Well, I... What? Go, go, go. Good afternoon. We're about to collect your father. What? Don't worry. We'll take good care of the old man. Well, my father is not crazy. You can't do this. Tell us again, old man. Just ha ha ha. How big is the beast? He was huge. He was about eight. No, ten feet tall. <laughs> so tell me, Maurice, when did you start having these delusions? It's not delusions. There was a beast. There was a talking clock, too. Poor Bell, it's a shame about your father. Gaston, you know my father is not crazy. Well, I could fix this little misunderstanding if... If what? If you'll marry me. What? what? One little word, Bell. That's all it takes. Never. Your choice. Take the old man. No, wait, wait. I can prove the beast is real. Show me the beast. That's him, that's him! Is he fine? No, he would never hurt anyone. Sounds like you have feelings for this monster. He is not the monster, you are. Forget the old man, I say we kill the beast. Kill him! Kill the beast! Kill the beast! We're not safe until he's dead. He comes stalking us at night. Set to sacrifice our children to his monstrous appetite. He'll wreak havoc on our village if we let him under free. It's time to take some action, boys. It's time to follow me. We're gonna get rid of this beast. Who's with me? Who's with me? I am, I am, I am. Light your torch, mount your horse, screw your courage to the sleeping pits. We're counting on the sun to lead the way. Through a mist, through a wood, we're within a haunted castle. Something's darker than the don't see every day. Is the beast wanna stop as a mountain? We go rest to his good and deceive. Sally, 
We don't like what we don't understand In fact, it scared us and it's monstrous and serious at least Bring your guns, bring your knives, save your children and your wife We'll save our children and our lives Kill the beast! Arms are blazed, parents hearts, we go marching into battle on our free all of the danger just in peace. Raise the flag, sing the song, here we come, we're 50 strong, 50 friends, we can't be wrong. Let's kill the beast! Kill the beast! Kill the beast! Kill the beast! Shut up, Lifu. I want to go home. Stop. the flesh. You all know you like Bell, nothing but a monster. has been broken but 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 you're human yeah the spell has been broken as I told you oh oh well sound wonderfully in the Royal Opera Fund. Mama, Mama, I'm a boy again! Oh, Chip! My son!
us all this time Do as it can be Barely even friends Some somebody paid Unexpectedly Just a little change 